The Grave Digger Green Ghost, The Avenger World Finals 10, and The Gunslinger 2010 to 2012. Those are some of the greatest paint schemes in monster trucking history. Now, think about the opposite. Think about the ones that look horrific and very weird and wonder who in the hell's idea was it to make this paint scheme design in the first place. Well, we're going to go over 10 of the worst. Here it is. Top 10 weirdest, ugliest paint schemes in monster truck history. <clears throat> so, just one rule real quick. It has to be, the truck has to have run the paint scheme at least once. So, yeah. That's the only requirement. And it has to look absolutely terrible. <clears throat> number 10. Our number 10 truck on the list is the Carolina Crusher from the 80s. Oh boy, this is already going to be an unpopular opinion. Get ready, because, yeah, it's been minutes since I've had injection of hate, so it's about time I have one. Uh, this is how we're going to start off. Uh, Carolina Crusher, the truck, it's just the color. Get used to seeing the uh, color of yellow a lot on this list. It kind of looks like that banana that you see in your grocery store, but there's no banana in it. It's just the cover. <laughs> That's about the best I can describe this thing is. <laughs> Like, I know during the 80s and stuff, like, they didn't have, like, obviously, um, as good of paint scheme uh, ideas, <clears throat> what the make paint schemes are. <clears throat> I say nowadays. Uh, but still, this thing, just going on a truck. I know there's a lot of history, a lot of good history to this truck. Obviously, Gary Porter's entire story is great. I'm just going sold out of truck. And, uh, paint scheme lies. This, uh, yeah, this looks pretty bad. But it's not straight out like, I don't hate this thing. It just doesn't look that good. <clears throat> number nine. The number nine truck on this list is the Raw Crustacean. Ran in 2019. <clears throat> oh boy. Yeah, this... um. This is very weird. <clears throat> I guess it'd be like a lot more um, realistic looking, but yeah, it, the color green on Crustacean. I know they obviously ran the uh, regular red and the um, the baby blue, which looked very weird as well. But this one, it is incredibly weird looking, like just green, like it's green. And this is already hurting my brain, and we're two trucks in. I'm not going to make it by the end of this, folks. I'm not. <clears throat> and our number eight truck on this list, number eight truck on this list is the Avenger from 2019. Or rather, from 2017 to 2019. Yeah, they are uh, the silver. The yeah, you know, they ran the pickup truck style, and the world design wasn't great, but I didn't hate it at all. It was fine with me. But when they ran the toxic color, like I already don't like toxic colored things. But the fact that it was like this though on the pickup truck is pretty bad. And I mean, pretty bad. Like, this thing definitely could use uh, a lot more uh, green color instead of a toxic version. And, uh, yeah, this is, um, yeah, it's more weird, but also it does have a little bit of ugliness to it just because of, like, the toxic green. I've always hated toxic green, I mean, real. Number seven. Our number seven truck on this list is the early 2000s Brutus. Yes, the early 2000s. Uh, the first Brutus that was ran um, before the dog came. Off the Team Scream style. A lot like Avenger. It's just like, it's orange. Like very bright and less orange. And Brutus, uh, it's, it's another weird one. And I really am not a big fan of this thing. 
yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just weird as well, like, obviously, um, the, the dog on the side of it, like, before, like, it majorly, um, had the dog truck, I, I don't know, it's just the color of orange is, I don't know, at least this version of it, without, like, the dog is, like, just a weird way of looking, so, that's how I describe it. Number six. You guys knew what number six would be. It's Time Flies. The original. The red, white, and green. Yes, green again. Oh, yeah, this, um, this is not, a uh, not very easy to look at. Um, this is the first one I really do hate, to be real. Like... And the thing that throws off, it would look fine. The red and silver, it's not really white, it's more silver, looks fine. The green completely ruins it. It's really on the lettering. Like, the actual green on the side looks great, but, like, the lettering completely ruins the whole truck design. It completely ruined it, I said. And I just don't like it. If they could have gone another color, this would look great, but it goes complete opposite. And I really do hate that fact. And just the way that the they use the green for the letter. Like, again, the black... I'm not the base fan of the black version, but it's definitely a far cry and a whole lot better than this. And I almost did put the 2019 version on here. That one isn't as bad as, per se, as this one. Even though it is, again, like mustard yellow. But that one's not as bad as this, in my opinion. <clears throat> Number five truck on this list... Weirdest and ugliest is the original Bounty Hunter. <sighs> All right, let the hate begin officially. I mean, like, this is another one that falls in the category of yellow. Like, this is, this is a little bit more of a mustard yellow. Ugh, like, obviously, the original Bounty Hunter logo is, like, weird as well in this thing. They have, like, Yosemite Sam on there, and I don't get it. Like, I feel this thing is, like, so weird. This is another brain-breaking one. And if you're thinking, I mean, I'm fair and trust this thing as well, just for putting this on the list, how about listen to what happened to, had been to this thing, like, early on? Um, when Jimmy Crane first started this thing, scoring to him, blew in a two month span eight motors under the thing, under the original one. And uh, yeah, the truck wasn't sound and working very well, and it looked about as bad as it ran and worked. So yeah, it's um, it's pretty bad. I do not like this at all. Number four. Number four truck on this list is Hot Wheels, the um, World Finals 18 version. <clears throat> this thing right here. <laughs> this thing. <laughs> it's almost more laughable than anything ugly or bad. It's just laughable. Like... The obvious, the teeth are the, probably the most disgusting part about this thing, but it's just more of like, it looks like this thing was drawn by a seven-year-old in New York City having a seizure. Like, it's, it looks incredibly just bad in a laughable way. I credit Hot Wheels for trying something different. The execution, though, is a zero out of ten. This thing looks and is so bad, Rod Schmidt can win. Number three. Well, yes, the thing definitely doesn't look good, at least the World Finals um, 18 Hot Wheels. The 2018 Hot Wheels that ran? <sighs> yeah, I hate it. I hate the thing. I hate the freaking thing. I absolutely hate this one. Like, and the main issue, though, with this truck is 
the colors do not really mix. The red and white, or not, not the red and white, or actually there might have been red and white on this thing. <clears throat> Again, I'm not actually, the way I'm doing this is way unorthodox. But um, the colors really just don't mix together. Like, uh, they, you have gold in there whenever I think if you put um, white, it would look better. Then also, really, it's just also a very weird combination. The teeth as well look very disgusting. And, oh, it's, uh, it is very, yeah, it's a bad mix-up. And I don't like it at all. So, yeah. Number two. So number two up here is the Yellow Girl Zombie. Our last of the yellow trucks. This one's the worst one. Uh, this thing, it's bad. It is very bad. The yellow, like, obviously I am not a big fan of zombie in general. Uh, the arms are like the only cool part of it. But you make it yellow, like a straight up mustard, the mustard yellow. Oh my god, it is very bad. It is, like, yeah, it is bad. Like, it is unseeable. Um, and, you know, obviously the entire thing, like, red layer, it, I can't even speak and even do this well because it's destroying my brain. Let's just get to number one. Before I die from this. Our number one ugliest paint scheme. Or weirdest ugliest paint scheme. In Monster Trucks. Is Max D 20th Anniversary. I mean come on. This thing looks so weird and bad. The colors are, don't match. It's. The design and just the way the traditional Max D just looks way better than this. Right? Right? If you take my content that seriously, you need some help. Anyway, so number one, ugliest, weirdest, ugliest paint scheme. And I get that right. Weirdest, ugliest paint scheme is Randy Brown. <laughs> what? How in the hell is Randy Brown number one on the weirdest, ugliest paint schemes? That's a real human. That's not a monster truck. Unfortunately, I didn't put him as number one. And I wish I could. Number one, uh, weirdest, ugliest monster truck paint scheme is this thing. My eyes! Everyone can now leave. Oh, I'm going to get flamed, all kinds of flame for this, and I really don't care. I, I freaking hate this truck. I freaking hate it so much. Like, I already... It already was ugly, disgusting, ridiculous monster truck. How do you make it worse, though? That blue to the thing, make it look like it came out of Chernobyl, and then make the teeth green, make the thing really look like it came out of Chernobyl. Like, you mix colors, like, even blue and green are my favorite colors, but nothing can save this truck already. And you add those colors though, is a disrespect to the colors of blue and green. Yes, I may not know exactly what the color blue is, okay? But shut up. This thing still is terrible. And I really question the community why they like this. Because it is. It is so ugly. It's so bad. It's ugly, disgusting, ridiculous. Abomination. Disgraceful excuse for a monster truck. It makes me go, make me question it. Makes you go insane. Hate this thing. And it brings the angriest army.